solve the quartic equation, where, x is a real number. It's not always easy to solve a quartic equation. By the rational root theorem, we know that, if the equation has rational roots, then they must be 1 or negative 1. However, it's easy to check that, neither 1 nor negative 1, is a solution of the equation. Then, how to solve the equation? One method is to transform the quartic polynomial into a product of two quadratic polynomials, then to solve quadratic equations. We will use the substitution method to solve this quartic equation. As x does not equal zero, so we divide the equation by x squared. Then the equation becomes, x squared, plus 3x, minus 16, plus 3 over x, plus 1 over x squared, equals 0. Rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, plus 1 over x squared, plus 3 times, x plus 1 over x, minus 16, equals 0. And we label this as equation 1. Now, we let y equal x plus 1 over x. Then, y squared equals x squared, plus 1 over x squared, plus 2. So, x squared, plus 1 over x squared, equals y squared minus 2. Now substitute x plus 1 over x, and x squared, plus 1 over x squared, into equation 1, we have, y squared, plus 3y, minus 18, equals 0. Factor the left hand side of the equation, we have, y minus 3, times y plus 6, equals 0. So, either y equals 3, or y equals negative 6. Note that, y equal x plus 1 over x. The problem is divided into two cases. Case 1, x plus 1 over x, equals 3. Case 2, x plus 1 over x, equals negative 6. For case 1, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, minus 3x, plus 1, equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. To solve for x, we apply the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, plus or minus root of, b squared, minus 4ac, over 2a. For this equation, the coefficients are, a equals 1, b equals negative 3, and c equals 1. So, we can now write, x equals, 3 plus or minus root of, negative 3 all squared, minus 4 times 1, times 1, over 2 times 1. Negative 3 all squared, minus 4 times 1, times 1, is equal to 5. So, x equals 3 plus or minus root 5, over 2. For case 2, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, plus 6x, plus 1, equals 0. Again, this is a quadratic equation. The coefficients are, a equals 1, b equals 6, and c equals 1. So, we can now write, x equals negative 6, plus or minus root of, 6 squared, minus 4 times 1, times 1, over 2 times 1. 6 squared, minus 4 times 1, times 1, is equal to 32. Root 32 is 4 root 2. So, x equals negative 6, plus or minus 4 root 2, over 2. Which is equal to, negative 3, plus or minus 2 root 2. In total, the equation has 4 real roots.